what were the like the most challenging parts of bringing uh, animated characters to like this the stage? Yeah. Well, I would say that you know our worry, uh, you know, uh, the, you know, not really our worry because uh, you know the cast worry really, but but I know Steve and some of the creatives were you know the conversations I was hearing as this was just being pitched in the planning stages were, does this really need to exist? You know what I mean? Will this, you know, Steve was very thought, Steve thought very, uh, he didn't think like a business guy. He wasn't a profit mm -hmm. guy. Like, Oh, this will be an ancillary income. You know, like he wasn't that kind of person. So, uh, you know, corporations think like that, but Steve wasn't a corporation. So, so he was like, does this really need to exist? Are they going to, you know, what if it's really bad and it's actually damaging to the, to this thing that I built so carefully. And, you know, that, and I think once he met with Tina Landau and, and, you know, the, the people that were making the show and, you know, all along the line, you know, just, you know, the visually and, and musically and cast wise, you know, Ethan and his cohorts who are all fantastic. I, I, I saw the worry be replaced by intense and en like enthusiasm by Steve and his, and his the guys that he works the closest with, mm -hmm. uh, Mark Ciccarelli and Vince Waller. And I, once they stopped worrying, I stopped worrying. I'm like, if Steve's not worried, <laughs> this is going to be if, – if Steve thinks this might be pretty good, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> so, I, Ethan, I, I, sorry to talk so long. <laughs> no, that's, that's, so, that's so good. Um, I think that skepticism was, like, the, the thing that was the hardest about it, and it was also mm -hmm. the thing that made it good was um, – I know I fully embrace and understand skepticism around taking a cartoon <laughs> and putting it on stage. Like I felt it too, um, but so did Tina who uh, yeah. sort of the stage show. And I I'm not gonna tell her own stories for her, but um, she does tell <laughs> some great stories about like the first time that she heard about it and how reticent she was to pitch the show until she had an epiphany, which was like, oh, we could do this really cool, <laughs> you know. Like we we could um, make sure to keep the 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 spirit of SpongeBob and not do an arena show, not do foam costumes, but try to like figure out how to humanize these characters, um, in 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 terms of like the physicality. Uh, and so the first workshop that we did in development was just two weeks. There was no script. There was no music. It was just let's show up and take gags from the show and see how we could do them with our bodies um or take, cool yeah it was amazing it was awesome. i never i never heard that oh my god oh, it was so cool tommy would have loved it it was oh, like i, I hope go. somebody was filming i'm sure i'm sure <laughs> tina was but she won't let anyone see it um no, that, so much for the dvd extra <laughs> I, know, I, know. I was gonna say <laughs> bonus material <laughs> I, wish. I mean it was really amazing things she would just be like all right you guys Groups of three, you have 15 minutes to show what it looks like if gravity stops working. Uh -huh. um, and wow, then we it's like boot camp. It was so, it was like boot camp. No, exactly. And like we were getting these skills together that we could just like weave together. Um, so that skepticism that was like at the core of it was like, how do we make this like right um, was the challenge, but also the opportunity of it. And it became uh, so fun to just mess around. Yeah, once they came back and 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 you know they started to get you know it was like in stages where 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 steven steven his top guys were were like skeptical like you said ethan and then like kind of curious and then kind of like c c c kind of their confidence i saw their confidence level rising and then like i said then it went once it turned into full-blown this is really cool this is going to be great i love this enthusiasm it was so such a relief for me, you know, not that I have any say in it at all, but, 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 you know, just as being a part of the, of the whole, uh, uh, you know, SpongeBob world construct, you know, it, it was, uh, it, it was really cool. And I think, I guess privately my thoughts at the time were, cause I, you know, I ne like SpongeBob, I, I, I always want to be positive and not be a Debbie Downer, you know? So, so I was always like, just mathematically speaking to myself, the, there's a lot more ways for this to go wrong than to go right. You know what I mean? Like just, just, you know what I mean? Like the number of ways it could be like some heaven's gate debacle, our, 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 our legion. And, the, but, but you, 
you know, it's almost like getting it right is almost like a, like a sharpshooter. Like, you know, it's, it's almost mm-hmm. like shooting an arrow off of somebody's, uh, you know, an apple off of somebody's yeah. head with an arrow or something. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like the, the Star Wars, uh, 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 you know, uh, shaft, you know, air shaft. So, and, and Tina and, and these guys totally, totally did that, you know, against the odds, you know, they, they, they blew up the Death Star of uh, a potential failure and embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Guys. <laughs> you bet. My, my, my pleasure, Amanda. Hi. Hi Amanda. I'll be quick too. So I, I want to know if you're bringing this to the, uh, you know, a DVD out next month on stage. Did you have to do any special, you know, taping or voice overs or anything for the DVD? Well, I mean, when we were filming it, uh, when we were filming the the production, uh, Tom and I did a bunch of stuff. A bunch of other cast members did like the, I don't know what's going to be on it, to be honest. So <laughs> yeah, I, I don't not. either. Maybe not. I haven't but got we, my but, copy yet. Yeah, me neither. Uh, so I probably shouldn't answer this, but we did do some fun other stuff like around the theater um, with. Uh, uh, patchy and and the cast and so that was pretty great yeah because it was it was aired as a special on on um, Nickelodeon first so 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 there were like some framing devices and kind of leading up to the broadcast kind of stuff between patchy the pirate the world's biggest spongebob fan and the cast of the Broadway show so I and I don't know if any of that made it onto the DVD but I, I will say you know I think I can say this is that the Broadway show was never filmed when it was happening so it had to be remounted and filmed for this special slash DVD. So, uh, so, so, so that was definitely some special stuff that had to be done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, now I'm going to be looking out for your little stuff. On, <laughs> maybe a yeah, bonus. Yeah, I, I hope. Thank I'm you. Sure it's on YouTube if it's not <laughs> on the DVD. That's true. <laughs>